Welcome back this week. I'm Renzo Rosato. This is season four, episode five. And I'm Gaston Rosato, and I want to remind you, please hit subscribe right now. We appreciate your support on the channel so far. This week, we're going to be reviewing the C3 Corvette. That's right, guys, a car that we've recognized and have seen potential in the market for growth as far as value is concerned. It's not the most expensive Corvette. It's not the cheapest Corvette. It finds this perfect little middle that we want to talk about and introduce this lovely car that just entered the barn today. But before we do that, as always, let's go for a drive. Let's get it. to have some good American muscle on our channel. You know what? We know the Corvette is such an iconic car. Yeah. You know, it's not a bad idea we can get all the generations in here. C1 moving all the way up to the C8, the newest and latest Corvette. Yeah, and we which know is, that. Which is revolutionizing the Corvette. We know they switched over from the front engine back to a, a mid-engine, which was actually the original design and the original plans for the Corvette. when when the C1 was born. That is fascinating. And it took <laughs> all those generations of Corvettes. A lot of generations. We do have our lap belts here fastened. Yes, for all those who think that we're not wearing seat belts, we are. It's a lap belt thing, guys. And it's cool because you see here where it says seat belt and it's a red light. So for this car, once you put your seat belt in, what you're supposed to do is press push to let the car know that your seatbelts are on. Uh-huh. I don't know what the point of that is, but... <laughs> Sounds like regulation to yeah. me. <laughs> the car is trusting that you're telling the truth. Yeah. Well, I love the four-speed factor of this car. Of course. You know, you drop the top, you got the four-speed. There's always exceptions to every rule, but the number one rule is when the top goes down the price goes up you add a four speed to that in 1970 is the year of this c3 it was actually the first year that the four speed manual was standard in the car so we do have the 5.7 liter v8 350 block in this in this model here yeah it's a small block but it is a 350 horsepower option the standard option, if I'm not mistaken, was 300 horsepower. Right. So when I say matching numbers, I'm talking about this is a fully matching numbers car. We're talking about, again, engine, transmission, rear end, and color combination, both exterior, interior, and the top in this case. Right. Which is a white top. Beautiful combination. So this car is also equipped with a rare hard top option, which, which we'll, uh, we'll put it on towards the end of this video. Which is, which is really cool, because this car just came into inventory here at the Barn Miami. And the first time I saw it, and when I was looking at it, I, was, I thought I was looking at the coupe. I didn't, I had zero clue that this was a convertible. Right. Which is, which is nice. You have the best of both worlds with that. You get the best of both worlds, truly. We're talking about a 70s American car. Right. You know, it all depends what you're used to driving. But, you know, you gotta keep, and, and it's true with all old cars, having a true expectation of what it is that you're going to be driving. These aren't known for the best handling cars whatsoever. Right. It was a lot of power for what it is. You gotta remember these are fiberglass bodies. And rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive, and of course, no traction control, no airbags. Kids these days will never know. <laughs> Well, this, this shift here is the millennial <laughs> anti-theft device. Yeah. Ooh, it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> so here's a cool feature on this car, and it's a safety feature, factory safety feature. You can't release the key unless you're in reverse. So the car is be in reverse, to turn off and release, and then the car is stuck in reverse. Oh wow. Yeah. That's, so that's pretty, pretty cool. 
could become a nightmare if you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely can. That's the kind of call you get from the customer after they buy it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's do our usual walk around. But before we start and feature this particular car, let's talk a little bit about the C3. It's a car that was produced for 14 years, from 1968 all the way to 1982. So there's a lot of these around. Yeah. Throughout the years, there's obviously a lot of differences. Let's focus on this one right here. So this is 1970, very preferred year because it's right before some of these emission regulations took place into these engines. And again, we have a 350, 300 horsepower engine. 350 horsepower engine. Right, 350, 350 it's called. Right. With the four speed. Very cool feature about this car in particular, it has the optional leather deluxe leather seats. <laughs> <laughs> the leather deluxe leather seats, if you didn't get that. So optional equipment on this particular car is the deluxe leather bucket seats, right. the limited slip rear end, power steering, which is always nice, and four wheel power disc brake. That's okay. important, safety always, huh? Yeah, things that you think, you know, consider maybe standard today. Right over here you have an engine stamp. It's very easy to read. It's going to be a series of numbers plus a suffix that will tell you, you know, what transmission was paired with this car and, and how much horsepower this particular engine has. But to know if it's matching numbers or not, you have to look at the last digits right over here and that needs to match the VIN number of the car. You have to understand the font, the font size and the spacing between the font right. to understand if it's real or not. You got to love this color. It's a beautiful color. Moussan blue is called over black with the factory white top. This is how you open it right here. And you pull the soft top. Look at that. Then you pull this back, this down, and then this to complete the cycle. Nice. But we'll leave it open for now. We're gonna talk about now in a little bit about price where it stands today in the market, where could it potentially go, and how it compares to the other generations of the Corvette. Sounds good. Sounds like it's your time to drive, though. Yes, it is. All right, so I want to show you guys that seatbelt button that I spoke to you about. So when you start the car up, which I haven't started it up yet, but I have it on contact. Now, my red light didn't turn off. The car trusts that you're going to go ahead and push this button right here to indicate that you have your seatbelt on. And also, if you look down here, there's a plaque which tells you 350 horsepower, 380 pounds foot of torque, and the cubic inches of the engine. All right, Gaston, we're back from that wonderful drive. Let me ask you, where do you believe the C3 stands in regards to the generations of Corvette, especially being that the C8 is now coming out and it's totally different from what's been out before? It's redefining the Corvette. Right. Like we talked about a lot of buzz going on in the Corvette world. C1s and C2s are through the roof, yeah. right? And this is general market analysis. You know, there's always exceptions to every car, but general market analysis. C1s, C2s, through the roof. C4s and 5s and moving forward, down in the gutter. Yeah. This car has found a nice little space there in the market. They're still affordable, but they're nowhere near the C2. But if you're gonna go anywhere towards the C2, it's gonna be up and that's gonna be a big gap right. where they have plenty of room to grow. So I have a lot of clients that ask, hey, what can I buy that I can drive, enjoy, maintain properly, and ultimately get out of without getting hurt? almost can't go wrong with the Corvette, but it's gotta be the right car, right? right? No uh, resto mods and things like that. Not that they're not bad cars, but again, you have to study that case by case. Right, originality always Right, is a car that's probably been repainted another color, a car that's engine swapped, a car that, you know. Here we're talking about the real deal. This is a safe car, something you can buy, you can enjoy, sell, maybe even make some money. But if you didn't and you broke even, well. At least you got to enjoy. You got to enjoy. Right. So. If you want to know what this car is listed for, we'll include the link down below in the description. You can click on that and get full details, including the gallery. That's right, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. For all those who have subscribed, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button for us so we can continue to make these videos for you guys. Make sure to like, share, 
and follow us on Instagrams that are listed down below for both personal and business. Until next week, I'm Renzo Rosato. And I'm Gaston Rosato. Later, guys. Peace out. Let's put that top on, though. Let's do it. <laughs>